Hello everybody, Daddy there does. How's everybody today? I hope you're all well. Have I got some tales to tell you today? Got a couple actually. We're going to start with the one that shocked the hell out of me. And it's about Mark Meadows. And all I could think of was, holy shite. That's right, old Mark Meadows. I do believe that he has flipped on the big mango moose knuckle. That's right. Mark Meadows, who used to be a United States congressman from North Carolina and used to be the Mango Moose Knuckles um, chief of staff. He used to be a lot of things. Now he's just a guilty son of a bitch. That's right. He pled guilty to several charges as part of a plea deal he made in exchange for his testimony. Now, I think most of his stuff has got to do with January 6th. So we do a little timeline. I think that would be a good thing, right? Well, let's start with uh, getting the gears in motion there in November 2020, right after the election, when they started arranging all the court cases and getting the lawyers to go and lie to judges. But they didn't lie to the judges because they couldn't. They didn't want to be charged with perjury. So they just skirted the truth. Should we put it that way? Yeah, they skirted the truth. Um, so that went from there to the uh, between December and January. And then there was the fake electors. Remember all them? Giuliani and Mark Meadows was in on all that. Mark Meadows was in on getting the lawsuits together. Mark Meadows uh, got all the states, the six, six, seven states there to get the fake electors. He was all part of that. He was all part of trying to overturn the election. That's right. Um, he was there egging everybody on to overturn um, the electors um, in January. Um, then, well, let's go back a little bit, shall we? Let's go back to December 2020. Um, he takes a trip to Georgia, and he tried to ambush a ballot count center but he was blocked from entering. They said, you can't come in here. We don't care who you are. So Trump calls the Georgia chief of elections investigator December 23rd. This is uh, the day of or the day after. He said, Mark asked me to do it. He thinks you're great, by the way. That's right, butter them up before you t send them to jail with you. So old Mark was leading the efforts to steal the friggin' election in public and working in secret with Donald Trump to find out uh, how many more schemes they could cook up to try and keep that traitor in power. Know how that worked. Now, January 2nd, Mark was on a call with Trump and the Georgia Secretary of State, um, Raffensperger. Remember that one? All I need is 11,780 uh, votes. Come on, guys, give me a break. That call? Yeah, Mark was in on that, huh? So, um, Mr. Secretary, I was hopeful that you, you know, in the spirit of cooperation and compromises, is there something that we can at least have a discussion to look at some of the allegations? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. No, I think that's one of the things he's guilty of. Uh, they were discussing Fulton County because that's where most of the votes for Biden went. Didn't think that was a good thing. So they're trying to get rid of those votes. 11,780 of them. One more than they needed, right? So anyway, uh, there seems to be a difference of where the facts seem to lead. Mm, no, there wasn't. And thank the goddess for Cassidy Hutchinson. She's the real star of January 6th, you know that? She's the one that put all this to light. January 5th, Mark was in on the planning with Giuliani at the war room at that hotel. And I think Bannon and that other fool there, Roger Stone and all those type of people, the Proud Boys, Oath Keepers, blah, 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 the dirty trickster. Pfft. Yeah, they were all at the uh, hotel. So Mark had to go over there and see how the planning was going. But anyway, he knew what was going on every step of the way and what was going to happen on January 6th. Now, when they started seeing all this stuff after they came back to the White House, 
Cassidy and everybody, they were all watching the TV, and then they started seeing the violence, all the cops getting beaten, the uh, bear spray, pepper spray, name a spray, they sprayed it. But anyway, yeah, they were all freaking out, and even the lawyers and stuff are running into Mark's office going, Mark, do you see what's happening? Oh, my God, this is crazy. Got to get this stopped, blah, blah, blah. Now, because Trump and Mark were in on the plane, they were the only two that weren't too concerned. Friggin' Trump sitting there eating his french fries and ketchup in the dining room off the uh, Oval. Mark sitting in his office just texting away. Everybody's running into his office and he's going, mm-hmm, yeah. So um, one of the guys, Mark sat in his office and he burned papers in his fireplace. Don't know what the papers were. I'm sure it was just to keep them warm, no, right? Yeah, kindling for the fire. But, um, and he was texting on his phone, Cipollini, the council there, he comes running up and he said, Mark, they breached the Capitol. Trump doesn't think they're doing anything wrong. Cipollini. They want to fucking hang the Vice President Mike Han uh, Pence, Mark. You heard him, Pat. He thinks Mike deserves it. He doesn't think they're doing anything wrong. Well, you should have known him better. I would have hightailed it somewhere. Um, burn docks in the fireplace after a meeting with Scott Perry? Yeah, that was a thing. Pretty rare. Not pretty rare, rather. It happened all the time. So this is why Mark Mezos was trying to get a presidential federal pardon. Because he knew all this shit he did. He knew about the planning. He knew there was people out there that go blah, 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 blah. That's right. That's what happened to Mark Meadows. So I'm hoping in, within the next few hours, or at least by tomorrow, you see him going, Oh, no pictures, no pictures. You know those ones? Yeah. No pictures, no pictures. And going out like this. That's how we hope we see him in the next two days. Anyway, Naughty Nana loves you. Be good, be safe, be good to you. Mwah. Love y'all. Mm-mm.